So welcome back guys. So today we're going to be configuring SNMP V3 on a HP 3800 ProVision OS switch. So why are we going to be using IMC to do this? Because CLI is so 2010. Right? Why SNMP V3? Well, secrets are good. SNMP V3, unlike earlier versions, V1 or V2C, are encrypted. Um, and as well, it offers integrity, so you can actually verify that your, your secrets are safe and that people can't sniff your password and you actually can verify the other side so you can know who's actually contacting your devices. So the first thing we're going to look at here is the configuration of the switch. So we've got KA1515 code here. This is available on the public website. And as you can see, we've got a basic SNMP um, V1, V2C configuration with community strings of public and private. No username and password, just public and private. So. The box is ready to be managed by IMC, and we've already discovered it here. So first things first, one of the things with SNMP V3 that we're probably going to want to do is to create a template. So we're going to go into System, SNMP Templates, and I've already got one created here for my, my ProVision devices. So we're going to go modify that so we can take a look at it. So you're going to want to create your authentication password as well as your encryption password here. So you're going to need both of those so that you'll be able to um, have your AES and your, your SHA-1, right? So now we're going to go down, we're going to go and choose what kind of SNMP v3, because it is possible to configure SNMP v3 with no, no encryption and no integrity. So we're going to use the AES-128 with SHA. Um, again, you want to make sure that this is actually supported on the device, right? So definitely check the, your documentation on any devices to make sure that this is going to work properly. So now we're going to go over to resource batch operations, device operations. And we're going to select the device access and go down to SNMP v3 HP. Now we're going to select using the, the standard IMC query engine, switches, 3800. Going a little bit faster because you guys have seen this before, right? We're going to go next. And now we're going to put in the interesting part. So this is where we want to make sure that this matches. So that AES and SHA, right? This is what we did on that, um, the SNMP template. So we changed the username to match. So that's that Pro V3 user. Make sure the authentication password and encryption passwords match what was in the template. And now we want to schedule it to run immediately. So we're going to click OK. I'm going to go up here, click refresh. You'll see this will go to running. And now, depending on what else your system is doing and how many resources you have, those kind of things, um, this may take a little bit longer to, to run. So you can see now succeeded. And now we can go in and actually look at what was done on the device. And we can see in here that it was successful and that we have uh, put those commands in. So now I'm going to go back over to the switch console and I'm going to connect back to the console here so I'm using a, uh, a Digi um, 32 port RS232 serial console so I can do things and not get locked out of my devices so I'm going to do a show run again now you can see up here that we've actually got these SNMP v3 commands showing in the configuration now so IMC has successfully gone into the device and configured all the SNMP v3 stuff for me so the only thing that you might want to be aware of here is you have a couple of different options. You have the SNMP v3 uh, restricted access or the SNMP v3 only command. So you kind of have both of these. And it's important to remember that just because you've configured SNMP v3, that doesn't mean you've shut off SNMP v1 or v2c. So using the restricted access or only command will actually do that. It will stop the device from listening to SNMP v1, v2c queries. So it's probably one of those things that you do want to do. But again, check your, your documentation for your products just to make sure that you understand what you're doing when you're running these commands because you could lock yourself out. So our last step here is we're going to go to the device and we are going to go over here to configure and SNMP template the SNMP settings here. And now we're actually going to test this with the V2C credentials that we had. And right now this is trying a few times and it's actually going to fail on us, which is what we would expect to see because we ran that SNMP V3 only command. There we are, failure, read community error. So the switch is not able to access or IMC is not able to access the switch using SNMP V2C, which is what was configured. 
Now we're going to say select use a template. We're going to grab that template that we had. So now we're going to click on the test button and as you can see we have successfully tested using that particular template. Now we're going to click OK and we're good to go. We have now successfully proven um, that IMC is able to contact the device using the SNMP v3 credentials in that template. But what if you had done this on a bunch of devices, right? So batch operations, we selected one switch, but maybe you wanted to do this with 10 switches or 100 switches, right? We can do that as well. So in the same way that we use the batch operation function to configure SNMP v3, uh, we've got the ability here, you know, up at the top to change the NMS parameters as well. So I can change the SNMP settings here. And this is changing the SNMP settings, not on the device, but the credentials that IMC is going to use to access that device. So we're going to go here and we're going to choose 3800. And we could do uh, control or command select, depending on what uh, OS you're running. We can choose multiple of these and just arrow down. In this case, we're going to use the single 3800. And then you click on the gear here for configure. We're going to do the exact same thing. Select the template, SNMP v3. There we go. We're going to click OK. And now IMC is going to change the settings in its database for the single or for all those devices that uh, you had. So the last step here we're going to check is to check the device access settings. So this is always a good step to take after you make any changes for anything from an authentication because there's nothing like trying to troubleshoot these problems and it being a, a wrong telnet password or um, a case sensitive SNMP string or that kind of thing. So we're going to go in here again we're going to select the device we want and as you can see I've checked only the SNMP box here. So we're going to click OK and now IMC is going to perform a test and go out and check whether or not it's able to access through SNMP. So I'm going to click the refresh button the results should go from unknown to success. There we go. If I want to get a little more information, I can go over here to details and actually see, um, you know, it might be partially successful. And I would know whether that was Telnet or SSH that failed or SNMP. In this case, I only tested SNMP and everything is all good. And that, my friends, is setting up SNMP v3 on a Provision switch from HP. See you guys next time on the next IMC management tutorial.